Hi everyone, today's here is Visual Effects tutorial here. I'm going to show you how to use uh, Track Code Horizon for After Effects CS4. Track Code Horizon is a plugin for After Effects which makes uh, uh, grade, uh, 3 dimensional gradients and uh, panorama maps. This new plugin uh, is really useful to add the fantastic backgrounds to your compositions. Uh, let's see what you can create with this plugin. Okay, here is a little demonstration I made before. Uh, what we have here? We have uh, some 3D text, uh, some particles, and uh, gradient in the background. Well, this gradient uh, uh, is not keyframed in any way. Uh, it's just trap code horizon with uh, some camera movements. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, and how does this plugin work? Well, let's see it together. New composition, Ctrl, -N Ctrl L. Uh, let's name it trap code horizon. Create a new solid layer. Type in the effects and preset search bar horizon and drag the effects to your layer. Okay, first thing we notice is uh, this little gradient from the white to the green in our in our solid. Okay, open the gradient panel uh, in the horizon FX control, and we see the gradient styles, which can be uh, in the lines or points. Well, lines makes a linear gradient style, and points makes makes uh, some radial gradients in your com in your um, layer. Okay, let's choose points. Uh, okay, point spread, we can set the spread of our radial gradient and the color, the number of the colors uh, we can use. So, if we type 4, we'll have uh, four different colors in our horizon. Okay, let's see. We have uh, the color type, which uh, we, by default is black, white, red, green. And we can change it just by clicking on the color and picking another color, like green. Uh, we can, here is the orientation. Where, or where we can find this color in the horizon. So try to, to see if I move the V angle, I move the related gradient. Uh, same thing for the horizontal angle. Uh, we can also move, uh, change the opacity of the, the color in our horizon. For example, uh, if, I, if I decrease the first color opacity, our layer will be more transparent in uh, the green zone. Uh, okay, you can see the one is the top and zero is uh, totally transparent. Okay, let's set it to 0 0.5 and uh, we have uh, a semi-transparent situation. Um, well, uh, we can also set uh, our gradients uh, to lines and we can, say we can see there, are, there is a linear gradient. Uh, well, what's the difference between Horizon and other effects like the ramp effect? Horizon is three-dimensional. How does it work? 
It creates a huge sphere which uh, includes all our composition. The sphere is, uh, of course, three-dimensional and is affected by camera movements. Uh, we can uh, create a new camera layer. Camera. We can set some keyframes and animate our camera. Using the orbit camera tool, you can see the gradients is immediately affected by our camera movement. Of course, this is a great, great feature for our composition. Uh, well, Horizon doesn't make only gradients, uh, rad radial or linear gradients, but also it can work with image map. So if I import new file and I choose an image like sample image uh, that uh, you can find in, ev in every Windows version like Newton leaves and we import it in our composition and this, uh, disable the layer, we go horizon, we set the image map to our picture layer and immediately horizon uh, texturize the huge sphere which involves our composition with uh, the selected image. Uh, we so now you can uh, see this works like a panorama plugin by Andrew Kramer and um, creates 3D panoramas really useful for our compositions. It's still affected by the camera movements and we can see the uh, head cover uh, the horizontal coverage and the vertical coverage. This this means that if we type. 180 this will cover uh, 180 degrees to create a 180 degrees panorama and we set the vertical coverage to 90 horizontal coverage or the vertical coverage but it's still an awesome feature. Remember, if you use this feature, you have to use uh, really high resolution uh, pictures. In our case, our picture is not in the highest resolution and we can see a high quality result, but it's still good, very good. An excellent feature by this amazing plugin. Uh, orientation and distort is like uh, transformation parameters that we can see in every layer like the x rotation the z rotation and we ha we also have uh, two important features like strider who def uh, deforms our layer our picture background and the scatter which uh, which creates a uh, a grain effects to add to your composition uh, can uh, be useful in some in some cases. The motion blur uh, creates uh, some motion blur effects like uh, in every other track code uh, plug. Okay, let's see how you can use Horizon in a comp normal work. Uh, so, for example, type a new text set to the center. Uh, we set to 3D. We can see the camera affects the horizon. Amazing. Okay, so this is um, 
all uh, thing we can explain about this plugin. Uh, thank you for a your attention thanks for watching this tutorial uh, I hope you will follow us in our new videos so please subscribe to get new tutorials to support our activity and uh, of course to ask for new tutorials so if there is some special effects you want to know how to do it just ask with a comment and we will provide to make a tutorial on it. So thank you again and goodbye by visual effects tutorial.